Hi, I'm Shannon Carroll, and I'm the Director of Education at the Speed Art Museum. And I'm here today with my niece. Hi, I'm Rocklin. And we're going to show you how you can do some printmaking using materials that you already have in your house. We need things like a Ziploc bag. We need Q-tips. We need paint. We're just using craft paint. And then just any kind of paper that you have. This is just white paper that you might put in your printer, but any kind of paper that you have in your house would work. So printmaking is a technique where you make a design on a plate and then you use a fancy machine called a printing press to transfer your design from your plate to your paper. We don't have any of those fancy plates and we definitely don't have a printing press. So we're going to show you a way that you can do printmaking using your hands and those items that we already talked about that you have in your house. So Brooklyn, are you ready to paint? Yes. The first thing that we're going to do is to put paint all over our Ziploc bag. So we're using primary colors. We have red, blue, and yellow. You can use your favorite colors. And we're gonna take our paint brushes and start putting paint all over our bags. Now, Brooklyn, we have to do this quickly, okay? okay? Because the paint is going to dry very fast. So if you want to, you can do all one color. You can use some different colors. And what I like about putting the paint on the Ziploc bags like this is that it gives you cool textures. So don't worry about whether or not you can see your brush strokes because those will actually turn out in your finished print too. So I started off with blue, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of red and see what might happen. Brooklyn, do you have any guesses what might happen when I mix blue and red? It'll turn purple. It is turning purple. How did you know that? You just did? Mm -hmm. Just smart? <laughs> what color are you using? Um, I'm using blue and yellow and um, yep. green just showed up and then now I'm using red. Green just showed up. That's cool. I swirled them together. Okay. Make sure you get the bottom of your paper too. Okay. All right. Auntie Shannon's going to do just a little bit more blue on the side and then I think I'm ready for the next step. Are you almost ready for the next step? Um, nope. No, not quite yet. Okay, get this corner over here. Here, I'll hold your bag down for you. It's okay. It's okay if you get paint on your fingers. That's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, put your brush here. And the next thing we're going to do is take our Q-tips. And we're going to use our Q-tips almost like a pencil. We're gonna use our Q-tip to start taking the paint off of our Ziploc bag by drawing with it. One important tip for you, if you're going to put any letters or numbers in your design, you have to do them backwards. Printmaking prints a mirror image. So any letters or numbers need to be backwards. So it might be easiest to just draw shapes in different designs. So you ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna use our Q-tip and just start drawing shapes and designs on our paper. So I'm gonna make a couple of circles. Maybe make a triangle. What are you making, Brooklyn? Mm, a cinnamon twist roll. A cinnamon twist roll? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Now you're making me hungry. Maybe I'll do one little heart over here. Oh, I just put a fingerprint in mine. <laughs> All right. Maybe do one more cinnamon twist roll? Yep. Yeah. And now what we're gonna do is move our brushes out of the way and take our paper and put it face down on top of our Ziploc bag. And once you do that, you need to use all of your muscles and press your paper onto your bag so that it starts to transfer the paint and the design that you made onto your paper. So all of your colors will transfer over and then the areas where you drew your design with the Q-tip, those will be the color of your paper. So since Brooklyn and I are using white paper, our designs should look white on our final print. Are you done pressing? Yes. Okay, press with all your muscles. Go over it one more time. Go side to side and top to bottom. If you have a rolling pin at home, that will help make this go a little bit faster too. And when you're done, you're gonna take your paper and peel it away from your Ziploc bag. For your final print. Turn it around so everybody can see. So this is our printmaking using materials around your house, starting with the Ziploc bag. Thanks for painting with us today. Thanks for being my helper, Brooklyn. Yeah. 
Any prints that you make, don't forget to share them with us using the hashtag ArtSparksFromHome. We can't wait to see what you create. <laughs>